There we go. Nice little bass right there. Whew. In this video, we're gonna talk about this little bait right here and why you should probably pick one up. Beautiful fish right here. Let's get him back. See you, buddy. Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. In this video, I wanna talk about this little lure right here. This is a very cheap little crankbait slash jerkbait slash minnow bait thingamabob right here. You can pick these up at Walmart for like $1.96. And surprisingly, this is actually a decent little bait. To be more specific, this lure is a 1 16th ounce minnow by Ozark Trail. For those of you that do not know who Ozark Trail is, you've probably never been in a Walmart because Ozark Trail seems to dominate the outdoor sporting goods section of Walmart. They have all kinds of stuff. They have stuff for camping. They have all kinds of outdoor uh, products. And it seems like they are moving into making fishing lures. Now, originally when I saw this bait in Walmart, I was a little bit skeptical. Just first of all, because of the name Ozark Trail, I thought, oh boy, another cheap uh, lure that's not going to be worth a whole lot. But the more I looked at it, the more intrigued I became, and I eventually walked out of the store with a couple of these in hand. The main thing that caught my attention is the size of this bait. It's a very petite little minnow bait slash jerk bait, and you don't really see baits this small at this price point. There's a lot of small crankbaits on the market, but a lot of times they are quite expensive, and in my experience, they don't seem to run right. They always have problems uh, tracking left and right. So I picked one of these up just to see how good it would be. The overall construction of these baits is very, very simple. It is basically just a standard little minnow profile with two hooks. Now, they do advertise Eagle Claw hooks on here, so I guess that's a good thing. Eagle Claw is an okay brand. I've used their hooks before. They're sharp. They catch fish. They work. So that is a plus, I guess, that it's actually got some uh, name brand hooks on there, which is good. The baits do come in a variety of colors, but on the surface, it basically seems like a nice little jerk bait. Now, when I got this bait into the water, the first thing that I noticed is that this bait is a sinking jerk bait. It does not float, and immediately, I was impressed. When I fish baits this size, I love baits that sink because that allows me to fish a number of different depths. Effectively, all you do is throw the bait out, let it sink to the desired depth, and work it back. When you're fishing a bait that's buoyant, they tend to not run as deep because you're fighting that buoyancy. With a bait like this, it's a lot more versatile when it comes to the depth that you can fish it at. The second thing that impressed me about this bait is the actual action. Now, if you just reel this bait straight in, the action isn't that great. I did notice some tracking issues. Uh, they tend to kind of run on their side, and that, of course, varies from bait to bait. But if you start to stroke this bait like a jerk bait, it actually has a nice little darting action in the water that definitely will get fish's attention, and fish will bite it. The action of this bait overall is very decent and very usable, but it's not the best action on the market. Don't kid yourself, this is a $1.96 lure. It's not going to compete against something like an X wrap from Rapala or some other jerk baits that are really tuned perfectly. They're going to have a lot better action in the water. But for $1.96, I thought the action was very good and very usable. The first opportunity I had to use this bait was on a freezing cold day a couple of weeks ago. It was literally blowing snow, which is kind of sad because it's supposed to be spring. But Ohio always surprises us with the weirdest weather imaginable. Anyway, I was fishing a little creek with this lure and I was able to catch a really nice fish. Just looking at the river, I can see that it's, it's squeezed into a narrower spot. So there's definitely some uh, deeper water. Obviously a lot more activity too. All kinds of trash and stuff, which is kind of sad. Somebody was doing some artwork, which is interesting. All right, this looks mildly better. Here we go, fish. Ooh, smallie, 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 smallie. Nice smallie. Ooh, yeah. Come on up here, boy. Oh, that's a quality smallmouth right there. Check out that, guys. Nice smallmouth. Look at the gut on that thing. I think she was up there spawning. Absolutely smoked that tiny little bait right there. Sweet. 
That's fantastic. I thought this river was kind of dead, but apparently not. I am excited to see that that little $1 bait actually caught a smallmouth. It worked really, really well, especially in this colder water conditions. A slow little jerk bait like that can do wonders. Pardon me for the background noise. My furnace is running because, like I said, Ohio weather is weird, and we still have to run our furnace in May. After catching that amazing smallmouth, I took this bait to another little creek, and I threw it around, and I was able to catch creek chubs, of all things. There we go, fish. Got him. Hey. Look at that. Big old creek chub. Absolutely smoked this little one dollar bait right there. Look at that. Nice creek chub right there. There we go, there's another one. Just like that. Bang. Another fatso right there. It's kind of crazy, there's another one. It's kind of crazy how aggressive these little creek chubs are. I mean, they are, they are hitting a bait that is fairly large. I mean, look at that. Like that bait's pretty large and they're just absolutely smashing it. There we go, there's another one. Woo! Another creek chub, that's a big one right there. That is a fatty, wow. After that, I visited another little creek and through this bait for some hungry yellow perch. There we go. Got him. Yes, right there. Nice yellow perch. Oh. No, 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 no. Where'd you go? Oh, crud, he came off. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him that time. Oh, yeah, nice. And of course, at this moment, my microphone decided to cut out, so here I am holding the perch. As you can see, it absolutely whaled that little budget bait. Beautiful little fish. And I also broke my fishing pole. I have been fishing with this little bait for a week or so now in a number of different fishing conditions and I have to say the bait performs well and I'm beginning to really like throwing this thing. In my opinion where this bait really shines is fishing small creeks and rivers. That is where I've had the most success. This bait's really small so you can flip it out into the current and fish it back. It's a very nice little finesse lure and it works really well for smaller fish that may be living in creeks and rivers. Now say you go to Walmart and pick a couple of these baits up. There are a couple of modifications you can do to this bait to get more out of it. The first thing that I did to some of these baits is attach a little bit of lead towards the back of the bait on the belly. Now this did hamper the action only slightly, it's barely noticeable, but it allowed me to throw this bait a lot farther. Uh, this bait is kind of light and so with heavier line and heavier gear it is a little harder to throw it, but adding that extra bit of weight allows me to throw that bait out a little bit farther and helps get the bait down quicker. The last and most important modification I would make to this bait, and I recommend you do this too if you are planning on picking some of these up, is add a little bit of a feathered trailer to the last treble hook on this bait. Uh, I did this to a number of my baits and it worked very, very well. Most of the fish that I caught uh, tended to just bite the feathered trailer and get hooked. If you want a cheap little lure that you can use for panfish, for smallmouth, you can fish small creeks and rivers or ponds, I recommend this bait. Also, if you're a multi-species angler and you always like to keep a variety of baits in your tackle box, I would again recommend that you pick these things up. The biggest selling point for me is the price. A dollar and 96 cents for a little lure like this is definitely worth the money. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this where I take a look at cheap lures and test them out and see if they're any good, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys want to support the channel, please check out the links in the description. There's affiliate links down there as well as to my signature series, Swim Baits. If you click on those links, I get a little bit of kickback and it helps me to keep making videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later. Okay, here's a nice pool boiling out from underneath this. Oh my goodness, I just went down. Ah.